Back up, sing guys. What is good, you guys? It is your boy Joey Sings, and welcome back to my channel for a brand new video. If you guys are new here, thank you for clicking on this video, honey. Listen, this is the first time we finna get into Trixie Blocks, I believe is how you say the name. If I said it wrong, I'm sorry, friend. Listen, y'all, I see this in my comments. This is called the Ultimate Survival World. It's like seven parts, and I was like, okay, well, where the first part at? And then I scrolled and scrolled and scrolled until I found it. Upgrading everything in Minecraft, the Ultimate Survival World. And I said, ooh, this sound fancy and sound bougie, because I like a little upgrade. Okay, listen, let me, I think saying, let me, let me upgrade you. Um, anyways. I don't know how we got there. I don't know. I'm pressed to play. Let's get into it. Here we go. This is the story of my life, yeah, yeah. So you wanna know who I really am and where I've been and what I'm gonna do. Alrighty, you guys. I got the video pulled up and let's get into it. Spanning across 16,000 blocks, 10 16? different biomes, what? and transforming every in-game structure. I'm upgrading literally everything in Minecraft to create the ultimate survival map. I started this project as a 1 million subscriber special, with the aim to create a mega build that is also a completely playable survival map. Now, usually the builds that I create aren't really survival friendly. What in the fancy? Massive scale. The I said it. I said, ooh, this sounds very bougie. I said it, and look at them bills. Them bills scream very bougie, and I'm trying to figure out some both, so let's keep, so let's come on. The was to create a custom map containing a selection of different biomes and transform all of Minecraft's See, just structures smart. and environments to create one epic and playable map. So today, what in the talent is project, going on? Creating the map, placing all of the vanilla structures, and transforming our first biome. And if you want to get the world download once the build is complete, then make sure you get this video to 80,000 likes and I'll transform the rest of the island. To begin planning this massive project, I started to sketch out what in the big brain is going on here. All of the biomes, choosing only the most appropriate ones for this map. Now, I did my best to position each of these biomes logically in relation to one another, so that way you won't be walking directly from the snowy tundra into the scorching desert. I thought the plains biome was a good hub for the center of the map, which will actually be transforming later on in this video. Now, as you can see, I added some little symbols next to each of the biome labels, okay. as I plan to use themes in each biome, which I'll reveal a little bit more about once we've created the map in World Painter. Now with our map planned out, I jump into World Painter to gradually create our custom island and slowly make this world a reality. Now I originally planned for this custom world to be a fair bit smaller. He is literally making this damn world. Like I'm actually watching him make a... What in the smarts? See, I knew I was, I knew I was slow. But this is, oh my, okay, now I feel so <laughs> slow, because I can't do this, oh wow. I made the map two times bigger. <laughs> I build a mountain range for the snowy biome, add in some rivers and a lake he to break up built, the landscape. Okay, I'm going to watch the, the video and I ain't going to say nothing now. Add some sand dunes to the desert before finally painting the landscape and separating them into their specific biome types. Now, as you can see, this map is enormous. I can't actually even load the whole thing in to show you guys. To give you just a tiny snippet of what to look forward to, in the Mesa biome, I'm planning to build a bustling Wild West town, a railroad and some huge mines, where you may just find some secrets. I have so much story planned for this world, including an abandoned zombie-infested village in the Darkwood Forest, various ancient jungle tribes in dispute over their terror. You know what? See, I be reading my comments, and sometimes I be like, what am I getting myself into? But now I'm over here, and I can't, my, I'm speechless. Because first of all, this is bougie and fancy and stuff, and I, okay, I love this. Or something mysterious hidden in the snowy mountains, Ooh. maybe even a Bob Ross reference in the tiger forest, and so much more. I'll even be including treasure hunts for you to embark on, and diary entries from the villagers. So you can really immerse yourself in the story, and uncover the hidden oh, mysteries this is of the map. And there's going to be lots of secrets added to this map that I'm not even going to show you guys. I'd love to hear in the comments what you guys would like me to include. And I'll tell you what. 
while you're down there, hit that subscribe button so you can keep up with the project Ooh. and be the first to know when it's available to download. I'm working on all of this completely alone with the help of my girlfriend in the planning process. So oh, yes, girlfriend, you better be helping so, out. Now that we have our giant island and all of our biomes, it's time to paste in some vanilla structures ready for the upgrades. Now, as you can see, I start by pasting in all of the villages in each biome, creating custom versions of Minecraft's vanilla villages for the biomes where they don't naturally spawn. Next, I add in all of the pillager outposts in most of the biomes, which will also be transformed based on the theme of the environment in which they are located. And finally, I place in all of Minecraft's oh larger my structures, goodness. the desert temple, the ocean monument, and a ruined portal into their corresponding biomes. I'm going to be adding some larger custom structures to biomes that don't include naturally generating ones. Next up, it's time oh to add Oh my goodness! The plains biome doesn't really spawn many trees, but I thought I'd place in some oak trees in small clusters across this section of the map. Now for the remaining biomes, I add in the appropriate trees, creating dense forests, similar to how they would spawn in a naturally generated Minecraft. This is so Now that the cool. map is ready for a big transformation, let's get started with the plains. Now, for the transformation of the planes, I wanted to keep things relatively simple. This is so cool! The game. Keeping things a little less on the crazy side just makes sense for this biome. Given that the planes is the most basic and common biome, and particularly as it's a sort of central hub to the map, and the first... It's the fact that I am watching him create a fucking world. I am mind blown. This is fan-fucking-tastic! Biome, I'm transforming. Plus, these more simple upgrades will be something that you can use as a reference to build in your own survival worlds. Now, the first thing we've got to transform are the oak trees that we've just scattered across the plains. In the background, you can see our vanilla oak trees, and in front of them, I start building up three different size variants, starting with oh, the smallest, those are and then create cool. the largest one, and finally, one that sits somewhere between the two. That is Next, so I go cute! Around the biome and replace the default trees with our new custom-built ones. I actually took a fair amount of inspiration from Zelda Breath of the Wild for Zelda this so biome. Cute. So to help populate and decorate the biome further, I created a few small bushes and custom boulders to help break up the dead space. Oh my Placing goodness. These clusters of bushes and boulders around our oak trees and include a few larger boulder clusters as well. In the center of our plains, I build a raised section of land. That is so cool! In vanilla Minecraft, these can spawn relatively frequently and pretty much anywhere. However, for this custom world, we're only going to feature one, and of course, this one was going to be a fair bit bigger than the ones we usually get. I build up two pillars either this side of the portal is and play with the design me. a little bit before settling on this stone archway to house our ruined portal. Now, if you compare this design to the original, it actually resembles it rather well. Obviously, just in a much more dramatic and upscale and way. so much fancier leading up to the portal and add in a few extra destroyed pillars for decoration obviously there's plenty of obsidian here which will make it much easier to build a working portal in survival but you still need a oh my goodness I add debris from the pillars and finish the portal design with some of the nether leaking into the overworld at the other end of our planes oh on the edge this of the is fire, so cool we place down a pillager outpost Again, these structures tend to spawn in pretty much every biome. However, I always thought that there should be more to these outposts than just a single tower. Oh my goodness! Design, I wanted to stick to something similar to the vanilla version. However, I decided to swap out the dark oak materials for their lighter oak wood variants to match the sources of wood accessible in the biome. I top the tower off with a small flag to symbolize a pillaged faction before relocating the tower slightly onto the cliff edge of the biome. Now these are the small builds that, that is so spawn sick. In an outpost tower. So I start off by upgrading their tents to provide them with a little bit more shape. I only slightly upgrade the training dubbies as there's not much more that I could do with them, especially at this small scale. Next, for the cages, I change out the wood variants this and make them look cage-like. And lastly, I add in a couple of my own decorations, including a fire pit and some bundles of oak logs. I reposition our newly transformed decorations to fit around the tower before surrounding the campsite with a spiked wood wall for a handmade look and have this area act as a temporary fortified base for the pillagers. That is so cool! As an additional so line cool. of defense for the outpost, I include two guard towers that somewhat match the design of the main tower to sit either side of the entrance. Finally, we move on that to the is so cool. village. 
starting with the first profession-based building, the Fisherman's House. Firstly, I branch off from the lake with a small river leading to a pond next to the village. Next Ooh. to it, I take one of our village houses and repurpose the house for our fishermen to live in. I stick to primarily oak wood and cobblestone for this design. However, I opt for this a spruce is roof, so which cool. I use for the remaining village buildings as well. I build a shallow sloping roof with a connecting balcony before repositioning that the house and connecting so it up with a cool. small jetty or pier. Branching off from this, I create a small winding pathway leading to the lakeside to provide a few different fishing spots. I build a second walkway, connect it up to the path, and build two small fishing boats in the shallow water. This is the so cool! The second of our professional themed builds in this village is a windmill for the local crop farmer. Once again, I take one of the regular village buildings and repurpose it for this specific role. This Obviously, is this so cute! This looks nothing like the original house, but farmers don't really get a nice building to live in. They tend to just work on the farms all day. So I figured a quaint windmill would fit perfectly. Using a cobblestone foundation, I built the tower of the windmill using oak wood variants, accenting it with spruce materials and a roof to match the rest of the village. I play around with the blades before settling on this design featuring some wool. Now to the right of the windmill, I wall off a section. Oh my sickening! This is, oh, I have not seen anything like this. And using stone variants to create a dedicated bee farm. I decorated wow. it with the small custom oak trees we previously made, as well as some bushes and flowers. I add in a pathway and next to the farm, convert one of the small village houses into a house for a beekeeper. Now this isn't actually one of the villager professions, but I thought I'd add it anyway. That is the large so space cool. in front of the windmill, I of course had to add a crop farm, as the village needs another food source besides fish. Oh yeah, and these plains villagers are exclusively veggie boys and pescatarians. Pretty environmentally friendly compared to the wild west town, but we're going to visit that another time. Anyhow, these rough stone walls fit perfectly with this simple building style and allow you to this build an easy and so relatively good amazing. looking farm. I divide the farm up into three fields. One for wheat, one for potatoes, and another for carrots, before branching off with a stream for our water source. Now with our farm this all done, is I wanted iconic. to the layout of the remainder of the village and create some new, more natural looking paths. I upgrade to that small oak tree in the middle for one of our new custom ones and create some new village bell designs to fit beneath and gradually repositioning the rest of the village. This for our next is villager so profession cool. building, we're upgrading the library. Now this upgrade stays pretty true to the original, with really minor changes being made. Mostly just by adding a bit more complex detailing to the walls, an interior, and of course, adding a new spruce wood roof. Before moving on from this building, I topped it off with a small bell tower, mostly just for that extra little bit of detail. Oh my goodness! Now we're almost done with our profession themed buildings. But I decided to transform this double roofed village building for a stonemason. The materials for this building changed a fair bit, replacing most of the wood with a mixture this of stone is brick so and stone cool. blocks to fit the theme of the building. I split the double roof in half and repurposed the second half for a small outcropping roof to shelter one of the building entrances. Out front, I built some custom boulders for our stonemason. And to add to that even further, created this miniature quarry at the back of the building, featuring this large, almost medieval looking pulverizer to break up the large bowl. Oh my goodness. I thought these little stalls could do with an upgrade. So I created a nice courtyard for a proper market where villagers could trade and sell. Yes. Goods. So the back of the market features our final profession based building a traveling wagon for the cleric. Now, clerics are actually religious leaders and would typically spawn in a church, which we actually have in this village as well. However, I decided I wanted to create this wagon for the cleric instead because of the mysterious and magical items that they can typically sell in game. That I thought it'd be so more interesting cool. to make them into these mysterious traveling merchants that sell items across the map and fit with that style a little bit better. This also lends itself for some great backstory later on in the project. I complete the merchant's wagon with a couple of horses attached to the front of it before adding a cart with supplies in the center and finishing with a few benches either side of the path. Now for our this final notable so building of the village, cool. it was time to transform the church. 
As I mentioned earlier in this video, my plan for the plane's biome was to transform the structures here to mimic the style of the vanilla default structures and theme the structures in the remaining biomes differently. So perhaps I could feature some of those places this of religious so worship cool. in those biomes. I also previously stated that I'd be using Breath of the Wild as heavy inspiration for this biome, and realized that this church somewhat resembled that of the Temple of Time. Usually for my builds, I tend to go much bigger, so being a little bit restricted to the size of these vanilla structures was actually quite difficult, especially for this church, as the original is absolutely tiny. <laughs> Obviously, this upgraded church ended up being a fair bit bigger, this more like a cathedral, amazing. but it still felt small compared to how I usually build. I detail it with a spruce roof to match the rest of the village, and top it off with a final small tower. The remaining houses of the village weren't profession themed. The rest of the job-related buildings will feature in different villages across the map. But for these last few building designs, I stuck so to the same cute. oak wood walls and spruce wood, each of them varying slightly in shape and layout. With all three designs complete, I add them around to the rest of the village. And finally, for some finishing touches, I upgrade the small fountain outside the church, place some barrels of hay, whip up a small lamppost design, transform those small flower pots, and lastly, scatter around some shrubbery to decorate. But with that, we've upgraded our plains biome. This was sickening. That is so amazing. Who wants to the pillage outpost? Not me. I hope you're all excited to see where this enormous project takes us. And most importantly, get the world download so you can play it for yourself. Remember to get this video to 80,000 likes. Leave all of your suggestions down below in the comments and let's make that happen. Now again, I mentioned it briefly in the last video, but considering this is technically the 1 million special video, thank you for helping me reach this. This is incredible. Honestly, it still hasn't really sunk in. That is a colossal number of you that liked my content enough to stick around. I've been doing YouTube for 8 years now and I never oh, actually thought wow. I would get to the point that I'm at now. So truly, thank you for your support. Anyway, enough soppy stuff. I'll see you in the next one. This was incredible. Like, this is sickening. Like, this is a big rain. Oh, my goodness. I absolutely love this, and I cannot wait to continue watching more, honey. Alrighty, you guys, there you have it. Me reacting to Trixie, Trix Block, Trixie Blocks. See, my mind just went blank. I am sorry, but oh my God, that was incredible. I loved everything about that. Oh, wow. Incredible. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up and then leave me a comment down below letting me know what you guys thought about this. This was incredible. I done said it a million times because it was. It was just awesome, okay? Wow. Alrighty guys, before you go, go ahead and smash that subscribe button as well as hit that bell to be notified when I upload brand new videos like this. I will see y'all in the next video, honey. This is...